Hey guys, this is Hedgehog Learner and this is our Cinema 40 tutorial on hinges. So, we're gonna start off by making a cube. We are making the X axis 30, no, 20 centimeters. And then moving it up 300 centimeters. And to the left 50 centimeters. No, 100. Not 50 or 100, I mean. and then copy it and paste it and rotate it 90 degrees. Move it to the right until it lines up like that. Copy paste there, copy paste oh, move it there, yeah, and then hold on, make it or rotate it. So that it's flat to the ground, move it down here. So now we've got a box here. Um, now we're gonna select all of these and make these um, dynamic or add a rigid body to it or dynamic body. <coughs> yeah, so now we're gonna go into the dynamic body, select the um, not the bottom one, but the ones uh, surrounding it, or the walls. Changing the dynamic to off. And then um, we name this bottom so we know which one. Gonna group these walls. And then we're gonna make a floor. Put a texture on that. Alright, so now. And then. Let's just change this here. Yeah, so we get a bigger view. Or so we can see around the edges. Now we if we play now, you're gonna see that that's just gonna fall down and through the floor. So we click the floor, add a rigid body to that too. And now here's where the hinges part comes in. So we're gonna go to simulate um, dynamics connector. And we're gonna make the A objects all of these walls. Or no, actually, we just need to. It needed to be this wall here to the left. So name this left, so you know which one that is. Go to connector left. Object A. Take the left wall. Object B. Take the bottom one. And now. If we play, nothing's gonna happen. So we're gonna take the connector, move it up about 190 centimeters, and then move it to the left like this. So it's um, so it looks like a small Pac-Man, sort of there, and in the middle of these here so now if we play it's just gonna um, touch this here so um, now we're gonna take the hold on bottom one gonna go to objects fill it and add some fill it cap to it <coughs> change the fill it to sub Division to 10, yeah, that would be good. And yeah, so now it's gonna go right down. That's gonna look better. But we're gonna change the shape to automatic mode dynamics. Yeah, that it didn't really change much, but it's probably gonna do it later. Or maybe not, but we're just gonna have it like that. So now we're gonna now you can play around with that i don't really know how to make it not collide with other ones but if you find out please tell me because i really want to know because that could be really useful uh yeah but now let's continue continue with this so now we're gonna add a emitter so simulate 
particles emitter. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to add a sphere. Uh, we're going to make it smaller, like 20 centimeters radius. Move it up there. And copy and paste it as many times as you want. You could add an emitter, emitting balls if you want, but I'm not going to do that right now. Into it. So now we're just gonna press play and then go to the frame we want. I'll take frame 50. Let's make 200 frames. Go to frame 50, make it on, and then put a keyframe there. So now it's gonna be off all the way until frame 50, and there it's gonna turn the dynamic on, which will make it fall down. So now it's gonna look like this. And they'll fall down. So uh, let's add a material to the balls. Got a nice material here. Cool ball texture. This one. Put it on the balls. Uh, you can put it on the group if you got one. Um, and then let's add another background it's actually yeah you don't need to fix it this much as I do but I like this so well, background background and <clears throat> let's add a transparency here let's make it 1.2 refraction Maybe make this maybe five percent and add reflection. Put this on the walls here. So yeah, that looks pretty good. So first they're gonna fall down there, then they're gonna fall down to the floor. So well, hold on. Hmm. The hill. What? Hmm. What the hell? Well, that worked before. <gasps> right, 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 right. Um, <laughs> sorry about this. If you want the texture form, you could PM me or send me a message um, on YouTube 
and I uh, could send it to me. I can send it to you. I mean, so let's mm, mm, so 40 videos. Oh, yeah. And yeah, all frames. And yeah, so now we're gonna render it. And I'll be back when it's done. So now it's done rendering. Uh, I just fixed the floor and I just added a light. Uh, you can do that if you want to. So, as you can see, they fall down, then the hinge activates and they fall down. So, yeah, hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.